Welcome to AWS with Attic. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create an uh, Nginx ingress controller in AWS EKS. So let's get started. Uh, I am in my uh, EKS dashboard. So at this moment, there is no cluster is there. So I'm going to create a cluster, set up an uh, Nginx ingress controller with a uh, like classic load balancer in AWS. And I'm going to set up deploy a sample application so that we can actually see how it works actually all those things. So I have created a blog where all those things are explained. So I'm going to just uh, follow the examples that is have set in the blog. And uh, you can also do this, just copy paste those things. Remember a couple of things you need to replace and I'm going to explain those as well. So let's get started. First thing is uh, I need to, uh, create a cluster and I'm going to do that via EKS CTL. So uh, you can manually create that, but uh, probably there are a lot of things you have to do manually, VPC, security groups, all those things, which is quite tedious. Rather than you can just run one line of command and that should be all fine. Okay, before that, you need to install uh, the EKS CTL on your machine. So just copy this command. I am doing this for uh, Linux machine if you are on a different machine then you can run it differently so i'm going to copy that and uh, i'm going to go to uh the uh, cloud shell so it's a kind of a linux machine so that being said uh where are my like most commands okay paste and run so it's just downloading the KCTL for the Linux machine and uh, moving to the user local bin folder so that you can run the command from your terminal. So that being said, uh, let's create a cluster. It's simple. That is it. One line command, and that will create a whole lot of a thing. It's kind of a, like bazooka. So it will create you a uh, VPC, it will create you a uh, VPC uh, private gateway, uh, it will create you a uh, net gateway, it will create for um, like node groups, two nodes, all those things here. So quite a lot of things, I will show you. But this takes around 10 minutes time. So just uh, run this, start this command and grab a cup of your cup and come back in 10 minutes. I'm going to pause the video for a while so that uh, you don't bored by seeing this screens. Okay, so I'm back and uh, it looks like the cluster creation is done. As you can see, it's active. And if I go to the details, I will see there are two nodes here and one node group is being created. So. There is, uh, in the networking, you see there's a VPC being created. There is an uh, add gateway being created. So if I go to EC2 instance, there is two EC2 instances running. Elastic IP is created. So a lot of things has been done in the background. And if you see, you will see that uh, this has been just cloud from machine templates, actually. One for the creating the cluster, another one for the node group. So that's being said, let's clear my screen. We have created a guest cluster. Then uh, now we need to uh, run the our local uh, EKS update cube config so that uh, we can run the cube CTL command. So I have to replace here a couple of things, the region name and the person. So if I go to this section, the region is uh, AP South 1, India. The south, and the name is uh, this is the name. And that has been done. Let's try to run cube CTM reports. Okay, there is nothing. Let's see all the ports. There are four ports, so five ports is good. 
So uh, that has been done. Now let's go and create some service accounts. You can just copy these lines and that will be just copy paste. Okay, so that being said, now I'm going to create a namespace for the Ingress Nginx. So uh, I'm not going to run it on the, the default namespace, we're going to create a new namespace. And then uh, we are going to install Helm. And I have given another article link here, which shows how to install Helm, because uh, this is not really part of this uh, process. If you already have installed Helm, then you can skip it. If you haven't, like this example, don't have Helm, so I'm going to show you that for you. So just copy this line and here it says 3.1.3.110. So this is the latest version at this moment when I'm writing or when I'm creating this tutorial. So maybe if you're trying later on, then change the version from the latest websites. To get the latest version, just go to helm.sh. So this is the website, helm.sh. And at the top right, you will see the latest version. Just replace those things. That's that's it then it should always work. Okay. I'm going to download the helm and then extract it. So and then put it inside the user local pin. And that should be it. If I now check the version, I should be able to see a version if the installation went well. So the installation went well, and this is the version. So Helm installation is done. So I'm going to come back to the original blog. So now I'm going to add the Helm repo that is uh, in Grace Engine X. I already added previously, so that's why I'm getting this message. But if you are not, then you should be saying that uh, the repo has been added. So after you have uh, added the Helm repo and update the Helm, then we should be able to run this command. This is pretty much it for installation the uh, Nginx Ingress with classic load balancer. So that we have to change. So, there is a load balancer to be created. That load balancer will uh, take will have a public uh, IP, so you can link your domain or subdomain to that. And Nginx will internally port forward the request with a path path based routing. For example, path A goes to service A, path B goes to service B, path C goes to service C, something like this. So you get uh, one load balancer, but then that distributes the request to different services. I'm going to show you an example. So our installation is done, as you can see. Then uh, let's go to uh, EC2 instance, and here you should see that load balancer. Here it is. So there is a load balancer is being created. So that is the load balancer that has been created while we are creating the Nginx ingress. So that's being said. Now uh, let's um, go to our blog and here you need to verify that uh, everything is working fine. So let's just run this thing. So it should create uh, what we have created here. Namespace ingress nginx. Oh, sorry. That's a typo. So you have to give in. Okay. So the uh, pod is for nginx ingress is running. So I'm going to clean the screen. Then I have to uh, create this file. So what this file is, uh, it creates a deployment an app with uh, Nginx public image, creates a service, 
a tick service and it creates the ingress. So this is the ingress part. And here it says the path based path is slash a tick. That means um, after the load balancer endpoint, if you add something slash a tick, then all those things that is passed will be passed to the service. So that is a path based routing. So that means if you have like uh, ALB and then if you type something like XYZ, then it will not path put your request here. So it will put this request only to the service when the path has slash attic at front of it. So I'm going to show you that. But for this reason, I have to copy this part completely. And then I need to uh, create a YAML file. So I already had created one YAML file. So this is the YAML file. It is exactly same where I have already specified what it has to be. The only thing I just need to update was the image part. So I was using a public image from Microsoft. But let's use the confidence image. You can use any public image, actually. That's not an issue. As long as it is accessible from your Kubernetes. So here I'm going to use Nginx latest, but you can use any image if you want. So save the file. Then it's simple. You CTL apply minus F t dot variable because I have named the file. And uh, it will create a deployment, it will create a service, it will create an ingress. So that's all that we'll do. And uh, that's it, I think. So if you uh, if you now go to load balancers, uh, here is the load balancer, and if you copy the DS name, and go to DNS slash update. If everything is running fine, it should show you a Nginx virtual machine. So this is it, guys. If you see, if I type something different, like Blah, 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 blah. It will say 404 because this path is not found in the index. We have only created a path based routing for the service attic test with attic slash in the URL. So, <clears throat> okay. Next thing is I want to add a uh, domain. So can we do that? So for that, I need to uh, link my subdomain to this load balancer. Okay, let's do that. Just for the post my Okay, I am into my Cloudflare dashboard and this is my domain, atikul.xyz. So I'm going to create a new record here. The new record is, uh, I have a C name. The name is uh, AADS. And then uh, I'm going to copy the load balancer DNS name. Push it here. This is it. Save it. Now, uh, if I go and type kts.atpq.xyz, I should be able to see the uh, special thing. So I should be able to see the welcome scheme of Nginx. That's good, but it's not secure, so I'm going to add it. How can I do that? Uh, it's very easy. I am in AWS, so I can use AWS Certificate Manager, which is available here. Certificate Manager, if I go here, and then I'm just going to add an SSL certificate for this subdomain, which is KS XYZ. So, Make the request to me. This is certificate. I'm going to take this at the dot as well as And if that is done, then request. 
they will ask me to set some DNS records, which I have removed now. So this is the same record that I have to add to my DNS add record. This is same and let's copy the value. Here is the value and save it. So we have uh, added the CM record and it should actually uh, to update and it might take some time based on your DNS propagation. So let's wait for one or two more minutes. Then you should see that there is a green tick mark. Here it is and my certificate has been issued. So now what I have to do is I need to link the certificate with the load balancer. So I have issued the certificate, that's good, but it's not linked yet. I need to link the certificate with the load balancer and that is the part of the last part that is missing that I'm going to show you. So uh, here we go to listeners and then we go to edit. Here you see 443, but there is no certificate not applicable. That means I have to delete that. I need to create a new one and I need to choose uh, SSL. For HTTPS and then I to choose here um, HTTP and then this is the port. Okay, and change here. Choose a certificate. So it is KDS. Save it. Save it. Close it. Let's see. So we have two listeners, one for H0, one for 443. And now let's refresh this screen. So we have to go to HTTPS. And this is it. We have actually installed SSL certificate. So, a lot of things we have done today. We have, uh, let's go back. We have created a case cluster. We have created a service account. We have created a namespace. We have created, uh, we have installed Helm. We have added a Nginx ingress repo. We have installed Nginx ingress via Helm with classic load balancer. That means it creates a load balancer. We deployed a simple application with the ingress and we have tested that. We have linked our domain and we have created a SSL certificate. So that being said, uh, this is it for this tutorial today. So I hope this helps you to get started with uh, Nginx and this controller, SSL certificate termination, all those things. If you need any help, please contact me. In, I will give the blog article link into the video description. So please subscribe to my channel if you wanted to see more videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.